Originally, I had been planning to share with you all my list of top recommendations out of everything that I read last year in 2022, but I think it'll be a lot more valuable for you all and a lot more fun and challenging for me to share my all-time recommendations. So this is my list of top recommendations out of everything I've read in my life. I'll note that I'm leaving out classics that we all know really well. So titles like The Catcher in the Rye, The Great Gatsby, they're not gonna be in here. So hopefully at least one or two of these titles are new to you. I'll be making book-related content indefinitely, so if you haven't subscribed yet and this sort of thing is of interest to you, please consider doing so. But without further ado, let's dive into the list. My first recommendation is a short story, but anything by Flannery O'Connor is good. She's one of the best short story writers of all time. Specifically, I want to call out A Good Man is Hard to Find. It's at this point safe to say that it's my favorite short story and it had a huge impact on my taste in reading. So if you haven't read anything by Flannery O'Connor before, I would definitely recommend getting a collection of all of her stories, but specifically check out A Good Man is Hard to Find. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Next up is a short story collection that reads pretty much like a novel. The narrator strings all of the stories together and they're told loosely in chronological fashion. And so it's pretty easy to kind of follow along with what's happening. And some of the best writing I've ever come across is found right here in this book. I'm talking about Jesus' Son by Dennis Johnson. Dennis Johnson is one of my personal favorite writers. He wrote poems, short stories, long novels, short novels. He could do it all. And this is some of his best work. A lot of people swear by this one in particular. Other good ones to check out are Train Dreams, which is often overlooked, and one of my personal favorite long novels, Tree of Smoke. Next up is my favorite Western of all time. This book really pulled me out of the pits of despair when I was about 20, 21 years old. Basically, the main character has a pretty stoic approach to the tragedies in his life and in the country around him. This book takes place on the Texas-Mexico border and is the book that I've reread more than any other. I'm talking about All the Pretty Horses by Cormac McCarthy. And though I don't think this is his best critically, I would, uh, I would give that to Blood Meridian. This is one of my top recommendations of all time because of how much of an impact it's had on me. If you're brand new to Cormac McCarthy though, you might start with The Road, which is a bit more accessible than this. You can go ahead and dive into this though. It's not too challenging that it'll throw you off. Next is a book that's a bit more contemporary than some of those other titles. The prose in this thing is absolutely electric. When I first came across it, it struck me as the most original thing I'd ever read in my life. The best way I can describe being introduced to this book is it was like hearing an electric guitar for the first time if all I'd been used to was orchestras and acoustic before. This thing will really knock you out. I'm talking about This Is How You Lose Her by Juno Diaz. Again, this is a short story collection, kind of like Jesus's Son, but the narrator's the same. And so all of the stories are strung together and this thing reads like some kind of a mix between a short story collection and a novel. The most recently published book on this list is one that I've talked about a little bit on this channel, on my TikTok, Instagram, but it's worth mentioning again. The themes in this book are really ambitious and really important. It's a book about who we are and what we're doing to our planet. If you read this book cover to cover, I guarantee you'll feel a deeper connection with the planet and you'll also probably rethink your stance on quite a few environmental related issues. I'm talking about The Overstory by Richard Powers. I've only read this book once, but I've reread certain passages of it quite a few times. Everything that's presented in this book as factually correct is just that. The last book that I'll add to my list of top all-time recommendations is a book that I think every American should take a crack at at some point. You might not like it, but you should definitely give it a try. It is an essential American read. I would put it up there with the great Gatsby's and the Moby Dicks of the world. I can't say enough good things about it. The prose reaches some pretty incredible heights in like the last hundred pages or so, three quarters of the way through, and it absolutely blew my mind the first time I read it. I've gone back and revisited this book a few times since then, and I've gotten more out of it each time I've revisited it. I'm talking about Beloved by Toni Morrison. I'm really curious to hear what your top recommendations are, and also would like to note that I've left off some really entertaining titles that I've revisited quite a bit. 
I mean, if we were just going based on the amount of times I've read certain books, I would have to throw in like The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo or the Harry Potter books. But instead, what I chose to focus on are books that I think reflect my reading taste in general and really are the books that I've gotten the most value out of. And so hopefully that has been passed along to you all. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video early. I don't wanna ramble on too much, but save it, go back, watch this later. If you read any of these titles because you watch this video, please let me know. That always makes my day when I read a comment um, from one of you all saying something like, you know, I, I checked out this book that you recommended me and I liked it, or I liked most of it, and I didn't like this particular part, here's why. Let's talk about this stuff. Thank you for watching, I hope you have a great day, and again, if you haven't subscribed already, consider doing so, it's the best way that you can support me and this channel.